Hey you, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing everything that's new in my closet over the last couple weeks. I have some, oh my gosh, some incredible steals, some incredible finds. I'm really, really excited to share. I also have a couple splurges to share. It's fine, it's cool. I'll just make sure my husband doesn't watch this video. Anyways, if you're new, welcome. I'm Jules. I do videos every week on fashion style and shopping. So if you like that sort of thing, then make sure to subscribe and click the bell to join our family. Starting off, I have to share these snakeskin boots. These are under $20 and they're really comfortable. They only come in whole sizes, so make sure to round up to your whole size. And I found an exact one at Target for twice the price. It was $39.99 at Target versus these which are under $20. They're really comfortable, they're a really great find and I love the dark snakeskin. I also like myself some light snakeskin too but I think this dark is just so sleek especially now that we're getting to the colder months. Staying on the animal print trend is this cardigan that I picked up from Amazon. I have to admit this has been sitting in like my wish list for maybe a year. I was always really hesitant because I thought, eh, no, I, I don't know. It's probably going to be itchy. It is not itchy at all. This cardigan is seriously so soft. Like it's not barefoot dreams. Like that is a different level of soft and cozy, but this is soft and I have sensitive skin. So I know itchy. I really love this tan color with the black pair that with some nice medium wash jeans and some boots and you're, you're ready. You can even throw on a hat, like make it a little extra. There aren't any buttons down the front. It's just a completely open front which I like I never end up buttoning them anyway uh, but if you like that button detail there may be some with a button option I can't remember but there's a lot of different colors and I find it runs true to size next up I have this other cardigan from Banana Republic I am a huge Banana Republic fan but I am NOT a fan of this cardigan I really wanted just a black cardigan that you couldn't see through. I hate when you can see through cardigans. Like it's a personal style pet peeve of mine, but I hate when you can see the top you're wearing underneath your cardigan. And I can't take it back because it's final sale. So if you caught my Target jeans try on haul, you probably recognize this pair of jeans. This is the straight leg, no distressing, slightly cropped pair of jeans. And in that video, I mentioned how I was hoping they would stretch out after a wear or two, and they totally did. The waistband is really comfortable. I love when jeans are stretchy. I know that's not supposed to be like the desired way or the expensive way, like you want structure to your jeans, but I just want to be comfortable in jeans. So I also ended up ordering these ones, which I decided to size down in, and I am so glad I did. They fit perfectly. The distressing is great. The length is great. They're definitely on the thinner side, but honestly, they're so cute. I don't care. So this one is one of my splurges. I'm kind of bearing it in the video in hopes that my husband doesn't see it. But this is the Abercrombie dad coat. This is a wool coat. It's just kind of a open front camel coat. It comes in a few other colors, including a lighter color, kind of more like this color. You can see the difference. I did get this on sale. I think it was 25% off, but full price it is $220, which is, in my opinion, a little bit overpriced for this coat. I think you can definitely find coats of similar quality for a lower price point. This definitely fits my style, so for me, it's worth the investment. Um, if you haven't watched my recent video on how to find your personal style, I really recommend taking that exercise. It's not really a quiz. It can help you pick out what colors to buy, what pieces to buy, and what fits into your style that you'll actually wear so that you don't overbuy, which I know sometimes I buy things that I later decide I really didn't need. So anyway, just plug for that video. I'll have it linked in the description box below. So let's balance that out with a really good budget find that I got. I got this two pack of long sleeve tees. They come in a lot of like combination so it's not all just black and striped there's white there's white with thin black stripes and colors and all that kind of stuff it definitely runs true to size it is not a super tight tee which is really important for me i don't like tees that are just like skin tight so this is really nice to be able to tuck into things or wear loose and if you've watched my channel before you know how much i love pima and suprema cotton it's just so nice it retains its shape it's super super soft and that pima cotton is blended with recycled polyester i still have some more clothes to show you but i want to take a quick time out to show some more accessories I picked up these sunglasses. Yes, the Hailey Bieber knockoff sunglasses, just like everybody else has. There's so many of them online, so you really can't go wrong. I'll link these ones down below. They're a really good price, but I really do like the clean and sharp angled lines of these sunglasses. They just make them really interesting, and it's just a nice change up every once in a while. 
I also got these little dangling moon earrings from Urban Outfitters. They're super cute. I got them on sale. The posts are a little bit thick. <laughs> So I definitely had to stretch out my ear a bit getting them through, which kind of made them hurt. So, um, you know, if you have really thin piercings like mine, keep that in mind. I don't know if anyone else has had that problem. If you found a solution, can you let me know in the comments? And then I also picked up these earrings when I ordered these jeans again from Target. But I really like the hexagons. I really like clean lines and clean shapes. They either have little gold at the bottom, a little bit of marble looking stuff at the bottom, or black marble at the bottom, which totally fits into my style and makes them really easy to pair with everything else that I wear. Okay, next is my other splurge. Again, we're kind of burying it in the video so it doesn't find it, but I bought a new pair of Lululemons. Um, the ones that I have, I don't even remember what they are, but they are worn in and too long and now too big and stretched out. So they're great for lounging around the house, but I do not go in public with them. And so I needed a pair of just plain black leggings that I could wear outside of the house. These are the Wonder Train tights. Um, this is the 25 inch inseam, which you would think would be really short, but it's really not that short, at least on me and I'm 5'5". I do have a short torso, so I like my leggings to be on the shorter side so that my legs don't look like they're super long, especially when you have a high rise and a really long skinny leg. Honestly, I really needed a new pair of leggings so this feels more like a necessity rather than like going out and splurging on something that I won't wear and don't need like I will wear this so much so like it's worth the investment so this piece just came in the mail yesterday and it is already one of my new favorite pieces it is this mock neck kind of loose stolen sleeve sweater this is from Express and this is actually the first part of my order the rest of it I think is coming later this week so I'll be posting that whole haul next week I think I don't know which day you're gonna watch this um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe and click the bell because that is coming very soon. I'm being very careful about putting this sweater on a hanger because I do not put sweaters on hangers because that makes it stretch out. So I'm going to hold it like this. I love this color. It's this beautiful kind of pinky brown, which I think is gorgeous. It's so nice to pair with all the other fall prints that you're wearing, like fall florals or animal skin get not animal skin animal print or snake skin and it's super soft you know I've tried a few sweaters like this over the years and they always end up being super thick or scratchy and uncomfortable and they don't tuck into jeans very well but this one is thin enough that it's easy to tuck into jeans and it just kind of loosely lays and just looks really cozy without being overwhelming but it is also so soft like you wear it and you don't want to take it off like even holding it it's just kind of like this cardigan just super soft and warm and I honestly just can't say enough good things about this so I'm really looking forward to the rest of my express haul coming soon make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss it thank you so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go and I can't wait to see you in my next video bye